Hello Aquarius, welcome to your reading. We're gonna take a look at the energy from now throughout the rest of October. So this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Aquarius. Hope y'all are doing well. If this one hits home, the link to the extended reading will be below, where I just dive a little bit deeper into your outcome. We'll pull some Oracle cards, a couple love cards. So you'll wanna check that out. All right, Aquarius, let's see what the rest of October looks like for y'all. If you're new here, welcome. I'm glad y'all stopped by. If you're returning, thank you for all of your support. I appreciate it. All right, well, let's see what it looks like for Aquarius. What does Aquarius need to know? The rest of October. You're going to want to hang out to the end of the reading. I did go live today, so if you missed that, check out that video where I uh, talked about the November monthly giveaway. We'll talk about it more at the end of the reading. All right, coming into the reading, what do we got, Aquarius? The Eight of Cups. All right, what's the influence to that Eight of Cups? It's the Death card, Scorpio energy. So coming into the reading, a lot of y'all are walking away from someone. I look amazing as I walk away, don't I? Says Aquarius. Could be an ending, a complete transformation. Something's not emotionally fulfilling you. Could be a love situation or work. Could be anything. It's just something that you've been emotionally invested in, but it's like you want your two additional cups to get to completion complete transformation the eight does represent change the death card eighth house all about change and transformation so you guys are on an adventure away from something that just has not been fulfilling what's on your mind aquarius the two of cups could be a relationship with the two of cups a partnership as well the two of cups feeling that very strong connection you may be going towards that looking for that ultimate soulmate energy or some of you, and we'll clarify, maybe you still feel connected to someone. By the way, it can be, it can be a friendship. Typically, the Two of Cups is love, but it's just emotion. Two people are intertwined, offering that emotion. Something maybe isn't fulfilling you, doesn't mean you're not connected to that person, but you gotta move forward. What happened in the recent past? The Strength card. All right, Major Arcana for Leo. So for some of you, it is a Leo. Uh, you know, that strength card really talking about overcoming obstacles, having to hold back. Again, I go back to the theme of maybe not wanting to have to walk from someone. In the recent past, could have been somebody who's holding back from you or you holding back from them. But remaining patient, a, a situation where you want to move forward, you, you want to communicate something, you want to act on your passion, but you have to tame the, that energy. What's the situation for the rest of October? The Five of Wands. See, again, that tells me you're conflicted. There's some sort of conflict. The Fives are about conflict. So again, maybe on different pages from someone here. We'll see what that is. I, if you're walking away from a connection, I don't think you're overly happy to do it but you know you have to. What's coming into the near future, Aquarius? The Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Coins, same thing. So Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, stability, really nurturing yourself. For some of you, um, there's an aspect of your job. You might be coming apart from a partnership and going out on your own in some way. It doesn't mean you're completely quitting your job. Sometimes that Queen of Pentacles works from home. But as far as love goes, there's conflict. There could be a queen of coins involved. We'll see who that is. How, how do you see yourself right now, Aquarius? The wheel of fortune. You want change. You're ready for the wheel to move. That's your karma. It's your fate. It's your destiny. So you, you're feeling pulled by the universe to walk away from something, to end it, to go completely through this transformation. And you're either conflicted about doing it or you have been. Or, you know, there's you guys are just on different pages. Could have been some arguments going on maybe even competition. What's in your environment coming in, Aquarius, that you don't see yet? You've got the Seven of Wands, so fighting for what you want. So in your environment, the universe is bringing that Seven of Wands. you got Leo, Sag, Aries energy there. So having to block out. In this deck especially, it feels very much like your defenses are up, but you're also fighting for something, even if there is competition. So this could certainly be some sort of competitive situation. What's going on in your feels, your emotions? The two of wands, making plans. Two is all about decisions and choices. For some of you, it is a relationship where the third party, the third energy doesn't have to be love. It doesn't have to be that somebody cheated. For some of you, maybe they are married or you're married. But for others of you, it could be a career or it could even, sometimes the queen of coins is even a mother, right? Somebody involved in this and there's some sort of drama, jealousy, 
and you just you don't want to deal with this anymore it could even be somebody at work it's the outcome the page of wands leo sag aries so that page of wands is delivering some sort of good news it is a spark as well it's having that passion to go towards something new could also be some communication that's coming in around good news for some of you you are fighting for um like more superior, like like a mm, like a promotion, or you're fighting to come kind of win out at work on something. If you are like interviewing or looking for a new job, could be a very competitive situation. It looks like you win that though. You're gonna get some sort of good news. Could be to partner with somebody at work, like on a project, or even a business partner. As far as love goes, um, everything's happening because of the five of wands. Again, I think some of you really, really felt a connection with someone here. But again, there's people that are butting in, causing some sort of drama or jealousy. And you you would rather just walk than be involved in that. So it would be a hard decision, but you're making that decision. And with that page of wands, I feel, and then look, there's the page of cups. So fulfilling a dream, it's got P Pisces energy and again. You know, the pages are communicators. Again, something new. I feel like in love, a lot of you not really wanting to do it, but having to shut the door on someone here and go towards something new. It's very strong energy. You were patient in the past with someone here too. And it's just too much. You feel like it's time to move, time to, time to change, Wheel of Fortune. A lot of you are really, you know, diving into karmic lessons and and you know what does this mean and you know I know I have to do the right thing for change to come in my love life so it's really good energy you're really trying to do the right thing even though it may be tough some of you are just trying to get your money better too and so really working hard towards something within your career or you know a business something to gain more money and you will but let's look so the eight of cups is coming in the reading what do we got? And the Queen of Cups. Who's she? Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. So we have two queens here. Neither one are you. Unless you, you may, some of you do have probably have water in your chart, maybe Cancer energy. Uh, who's this Queen of Cups? The Ten of Pentacles. For some of you, you're on the outs with a family member. And there's a connection there, but they've done something, you know, maybe they're trying to... Um, for some of you, I'm feeling uh, like an inheritance or a lump sum of money or something. Like you guys are fighting over something that belongs to you, but you have other people involved here trying to take it. Some sort of stability within the family. Others of you, this is somebody at work. What's on your mind, Aquarius? You've got the two of cups just about, and the two of swords. So two twos. Again, see, there's that energy of I feel a strong connection to somebody here. It, again, it doesn't have to be love, but with the Two of Swords, there's your air energy. Typically the card of Libra, but could certainly be Aquarius energy. But that Two of Swords is, I got to make a decision and I'm blocked. I'm in two minds. I don't, I don't want to make this decision, but I know I have to. It's something like that for y'all. Decision time coming. What happened in the recent past? You've got the Strength card, sign of Leo. Yeah, see with the death card in reverse, remaining patient on somebody's energy that was just not changing, right? It was stuck energy. They refused to end their old ways, behavior. You were very patient. You waited for this. I think in the past, too, you overcame a lot of obstacles with someone here. But you got Scorpio energy there. But with the death card in reverse, just a lack of change from this person. You've pretty much had enough. I think you've been patient. You've waited for somebody to change their ways. Why is the death card influencing the reading? Yeah, it's time, right? With the Wheel of Fortune again. So two major arcana influencing the reading. You're really looking at a relationship here. It doesn't matter. It could be any relationship. And you know that it's if this person has probably promised you some sort of change and you don't see it happening and the wheels coming, the universe comes in and it moves you in the right direction. It's like them kind of giving you that push. Yes, karmic lessons and that type of thing, but this is fated to happen. It needs to happen. A lot of you have felt some sort of kind of spiritual push towards um, someone where you've been blocked in the past because there was a connection. Why is it all happening? The Five of Wands. There's your card. Ace of Swords, Aquarius. 
Yeah, see, and again, there's that push from the universe, that Ace of Swords is that clarity. It's kind of that breakthrough, that aha moment. The swords are all about your mental energy, communication. So you're having some sort of clarity. You know there will be victory here if you cut through. And then, yeah, and you've got to overcome obstacles. You've, you've been patient, but you're having to hold back from somebody that you don't really want to hold back. And again, it, it could even be a family member. But there is some sort of um, drama around the situation. Coming into the near future, you'll experience the Queen of Coins. Woo, with the Queen of Coins. Damn, that's been happening a lot today. That's usually Spirit's way of communicating with me. I'll get double clarifiers a lot, like in two or three days. It's crazy. What's this Queen of Coins? Seven of Cups. <sighs> Some of you have a family member. I mean, it could even be a mother. The Queen of Coins can be a mother who is has been confusing you. Like Maybe there's like been some emotional manipulation from someone here too. And it could be about money. You're ending it. You, you finally have the, you know, the presence, the clarity to hold back from this person and to just remain calm and patient. But you know that you have to hold back. That seven of cups, again, though, could also be options. So if we're talking about love, it could be somebody didn't make you an option or you gave them the chance to change and make you an op, you know, make you the person, the main person. But there was a lack of that happening in the past. You see yourself as the wheel of fortune, learning a lot of karmic lessons. You're ready for change. You know in order to get that wheel to move in your favor, though, you have to eat a cup, someone, and that's what you're doing. It's this wheel of fortune. Yeah, the three of wands. See what else is out there. <sighs> you know, the three of wands can be waiting, but I feel like in this position, I think you've done your waiting, Aquarius. And I think that a lot of you are networking. You're seeing what's out there manifesting. If this is a um, job or even study, some of you are studying something, you've gone back to school, you, you feel it's time, right? You've waited long enough. You've been patient. Some of you have been, you know, waiting for the financial stability to do this. What's this three of wands about? Yeah, the money, Ace of Pentacles. And you finally see it now, the potential. The gift from the universe of the Ace of Pentacles. Some of you are receiving, um, like, a, I, I don't, y'all, I've never said this in a reading, but I just heard it, like a scholarship, money to help you go back to school or a loan or something like that. You're pursuing that and now you're just waiting for it to all come in. You've picked a direction and you're letting that wheel kind of move you. And it's about a, a new beginning with the Ace of Pentacles, but there's substance and potential, could be money tied to this. You could have some family members that are just have been in your way. Others of you, again, it's a relationship and you just you want that pentacle to grow. It's a new beginning. You're ready for, you know, something more committed. What's in your environment coming in that you don't see? You've got the seven of wands. There's another ace. Ace of cups. Yeah, a lot of you are just ready for new love. You're letting that wheel move you. You're learning your karmic lessons. You don't want to be an option. I do feel a lot of y'all's options are going to open up, though, as far as um, your future. You know, you're planting the seeds for it to grow into a very long future, a very successful future with money, studies, work, something like that. And others of you are just cutting out. You're blocking out somebody here that has promised you value. And you've been really blocked. You've been blocked because you felt a strong connection to this person. A lot of y'all have new love coming in, but it's because you're blocking out energy that wasn't making you a priority. So the universe, again, with the Ace of Cups, you've got another Ace handing you that cup. It's a gift. What's going on in your emotions? Two of Wands. You know you got to take action and make plans. And you might just kind of, you know, for a while, maybe even while you're watching this reading, you're just at a standstill trying to make that decision. Which way do I go? Two of Wands on the Fool. Something new. Some of you, it's travel, right? You're um, uh, taking on a new position or even for work, you have to travel, but it's because there's something new. I do think it's a competitive situation. I do think some of you guys are studying something. You've decided to take that risk and you're planning. You're making those plans. You might be a little bit at a crossroads as to which way to go, but you've picked a direction. And again, some of you are waiting on finances to be able to pursue this. Others of you, again, you're like, oh, let me, you know, I know I got to make plans. I know I have to move. I know I need to take action and it needs to be towards something new in relationship because you're not being fulfilled. What's the outcome? So you've got the page of wands, Leo Sag, Aries, and the hermit, sign of Virgo. 
all the pages are communicators. They are delivering some sort of news, but they're also students. And, you know, with the hermit and the outcome, researching, studying, figuring something out, very slow moving energy. But that hermit is very wise energy. He's got to uncover something. So you're going to receive some sort of communication, some sort of good news that will allow you to go towards something new. You have all this new abundant energy coming, Aquarius. It will um, require you to kind of move slowly and to figure this out. Like it's not going to be a rushed energy. I think a lot of you have already started doing that hermit energy. What's the hermit? He's very wise, but very slow. And the, again, Page of Swords, another like student of the deck inquisitive he's usually studying or researching online you're trying to figure something out both of those energies are very inquisitive the page of swords is just a little pesky right and the, you know the hermit is a little bit more wise slow kind of goes within he's doing a lot of reflecting and he's usually doing it in solitude some of you are going to receive good news about um being able to move forward whether if you've been waiting on money some of you have asked a family member or something like that, and there's been a, like an argument over that for some sort of help. That will change. You'll get that good news coming in, and you'll be able to pursue uncovering more, researching, learning with the Page of Swords. Others of you have completely or will continue to completely move away from a love situation, and they're going to message you, and you're going to ghost this person. Now, you be careful messaging someone. If this is resonating in love, I wouldn't reach out because somebody withdraws or ghosts. I think for a lot of you, you kind of go under the radar and this person will wonder what the hell is happening. And you'll be a little happy that you get that message. You're like, hmm, what's this about? And I also feel like this person in love is really inquisitive, is kind of wondering, like, what the hell's happened to you? Where are you? Asking about you, maybe looking you up. Like, somebody's like semi stalking, but it's because you've had enough. You pull away. Your focus is more on the like tangible side of your life, studies or work or something like that. If this is um, within family, Aquarius, and that's what this drama has been, maybe around money helping you in some way or just flat out BS drama. You're going to go within, you pull away from this energy, we see you walking, and then you're able to pursue some sort of you know, inquisitive studies, some sort of online learning, something like that. They're also going to be kind of wondering where the hell you've been watching you. Aquarius says enough is enough, <laughs> is what this looks like. I've had it. I'm doing me. So you guys are thinking about you and knocking out all the drama competition all of that stuff so the rest of October looks very strong and you pursuing something that you really want to pursue and doing it on your own and that's okay in extended reading we'll take a look more at the page of wands I want to see what this good news is that's coming we'll pull some oracles we'll even pull a couple cards just on love so I will see y'all over there Aquarius I love you hard love me hard back and we'll speak soon take care